Ash versus Cynthia. A legendary battle with 11 years worth of build up. Countless of fans have dreamed and hoped that one day these two trainers would meet face to face on the world stage. And here we are. As the climax approaches, who truly will be the last one standing? Let's talk about it. Pokemon Journeys Episode 125 The Semi-Finals 4 Impact is set to be the finale to the three-part match of Ash vs Cynthia. This has been a seesaw of a battle, with Cynthia starting off immensely strong using her experience and intelligent strategies to the limit, really putting the pressure on Ash which was greatly witnessed in the first half of the match. Then it shifted to Ash finding it in him and his team to get the wins back by using his unique unpredictable battle style tying up the score. But man, the pacing of all three parts has been so good. Cynthia currently has her Togekiss as well as Garchomp left, whilst Ash has his one and only journey's ace, Lucario. While this match's result will certainly be close, I believe we have a very clear answer to who will be the one to come out on top. And that is our boy, Champion Ash. And here's why. There is two major points in why Ash will certainly defeat Cynthia in this tough battle. First up, it's all thanks to the duck, yes that's right, Surfetched. In episode 124, the semi-finals 3, Valor, Surfetch went up against Cynthia's ace, Garchomp, in which a lot of us initially thought it would get destroyed, but nope. The knight was literally going toe to toe with one of the strongest Pokemon in the world, deflecting scale shot with its fury cutter, countering dragon claw with its fury cutter and even dodging dragon claw with its detect. A complete amazing performance which no one expected from Surfetch but he was doing it, with its last move which inflicted on Garchomp being one of the most crucial plays in why Ash will defeat Cynthia, as Surfetch managed to land a huge Meteor Soul which greatly damaged the Sinnoh champion's ace sadly taking it out in the process like a true knight. The significance of this place is so major because it's the reason why Mega Garchomp is not being used for this battle. Cynthia knows herself that Garchomp does not have the strength anymore to take down Ash's Lucario alone. So her best bet in winning this is by putting all of her trust into her Togekiss by Dynamaxing it. Cynthia's Garchomp is so strong, there is no questioning its power. And if it was at full strength as well as Mega Evolved versus Mega Lucario, I'm certain that Cynthia would defeat Ash because him and Lucario do not have the strength to surpass Cynthia and her ace. All alone. See, the key word here is alone because the key to defeating Garchomp is by weakening it with multiple Pokemon in which Surfetched has done. That Meteor Sword alone has put Ash in the best possible position ever to actually defeat Cynthia. And that's crazy. Secondly, with Mega Garchomp out of the picture, Ash no longer has to be cautious of it, which was something that was playing up in his mind as he was heavily expecting it to appear somewhere through this match. But now, oh boy, he can literally let loose and go all out with his aura power with Mega Lucario. And their first test here is Dynamax Togekiss. This Pokemon seems like it will give Ash some problems as from the preview of the episode we can see that Ash and Lucario do not take it out while it is Dynamaxed. But that doesn't mean it isn't part of Ash's plan because I think he might try to stall out the Pokemon because as we all know you can only use a total of 3 Dynamax moves, leaving the best time for Ash and Lucario to finishing it when it returns back to base, which I know they will. Lastly, that brings us to the Sinnoh Queen's ace, Garchomp, the Relentless Beast. Like I said earlier, this battle will definitely be close and I mean extremely close. But what I think separates our two champions in the deciding factor of who wins it all is that Ash's will to surpass Cynthia is way more than Cynthia's want to win. Because of that reason, I think Ash and Mega Lucario will tap into an aura power that they've never achieved before, with enough force to take down the legendary Garchomp, an amount of immense power that it cannot handle, because their aura boost is driven and increases with emotion, and that emotion of Ash dreaming that one day he would defeat Cynthia, and now has the chance to make that dream a reality. Which is why he will surpass champion Cynthia, once and for all. But as always, I love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Ash will defeat Cynthia in episode 125? Or do you think Cynthia will continue on to the finals versus Leon? Comment them all down below. Be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon Journeys videos. It's been your boy Aurazora, 
and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.